Hello and welcome to my corner of the internet. My name is Sol, I'm running a story about queer cats and trauma. Let's get on to the lore dump. While on the initial search with Amari and his newly acquired cub Ryder to find their missing guardian, Haruma comes across a lone African golden wildcat cub with no signs of parent in sight or scent. With no leads in the quest ahead, Amari opts to simply take her with them, much to the elder's dismay. Named Tuya, yours, the cub expresses a deep interest in both the spiritual and medicinal aspects of what she does, as well as her as a mother figure, dubbed Scruffy Mama. No matter how much she may shake her away, she always comes pattering back, eager for her approval. Admittedly, however, Tuya's lear quick learning and attentive listening when she least expects it has caught her intrigue. And yet, there is a force that keeps her heart locked in chains. That's all I got for now. If you're interested, be sure to stick around and enjoy the rest of the speed paint. <laughs> Solution. 
your television In your eyes I see myself I'm falling Make it make sense, it must be the temptation speaking What am I supposed to do, cause it feels so good Feeling wild like a soup, put me in a mood Trip giving me hope and solution, hope and solution. Maybe I should've known that it ain't real. Had you know how to get into my feelings? You're a trip giving me hope and solution, hope and solution, hope, hope and solution.
So, been a while, huh? <laughs> uh, this part of the video is unscripted because I, I, I'm just going off the top of my head. See, so really cut me. So, uh, yeah, it's it's been a minute. Um, the last few couple of years have hit me like a truck and I woke up this morning and I stared at my laptop and I briefly didn't know where I was mentally so I'm doing great <laughs> um I've I'm I'm a college student now that's that's one thing I've changed my entire fucking identity it's been a ride and I I don't know where I'm going at this point. I'm trying to figure that out. <laughs> but uh maybe I should have wrote in the script. I don't know. <laughs> but I do want to get back into content creation because it's the thing I've had the biggest passion for for years and it's something I especially want to do now that I'm surrounded by creatives everywhere I fucking see so I'm trying to get back into that I'm writing blood and ire as been as has been forementioned and there's some other things that are in the works that I would love to share if either sooner or later so you know, if you're curious about that, stick around, maybe. That'd be pretty cool. I'm also- I also have a Kofi. That's a- that's a fucking thing that I have because, you know what? College ain't free. <laughs> and I'm fucking struggling, so, you know, I have barely anything to offer, but, like, if you wanna, it's- it's there. It's a thing. You can- you can click it. It's right there! Look at it! Yeah! <laughs> um, there's some other things I'm launching too. I have a Redbubble that is currently empty. I want to put some designs there because I do not have the physical materials to like make shit myself. So whatever money trickles down from that, that is also very helpful. And you know, just hitting subscribe, watching, that's also a thing. when. YouTube decides to give me AdSense, even though copyrighted music is on my channel, but like we're not going to talk about it. And uh, yeah, you know, I'm working on stuff, and like if you want to see that, pretty cool if you stick around. You know, hit, hit that, hit that, hit that little button. Look at it, it's right there. Just give it a little pat, little little pat. Look at it, give it a little pat. <laughs> <laughs>